Hey everybody, it's me, Megs, and today I'm here with a Get Cute With Me video. So we're gonna go ahead and do this makeup look. I wanted to do a kind of like a double line cat eye and put on some cute lashes. So I wanted to do this video for y'all, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I washed my face and moisturized it. I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Rebound Primer, which I love this stuff. I double prime because I just like the way it makes my skin look. I'm using this Tatcha primer, y'all. Y'all didn't tell me that this primer was so bomb. Like, it makes my pores look poreless and you know i have big pores so i really really enjoy this primer so i'm gonna put this all over my face and the primer does tend to give you like an ashy look but it goes away once you put the foundation on and i am trying a new foundation it's this dior foundation so i'm gonna update you guys on how i'm liking the foundation i'm still playing with it a little bit and I'm still trying to see if I want to stick with this color or go a slight shade darker. So to highlight, I use my MAC Mineralized. I think this is the, what is this? Girl, the concealer name is in the description. <laughs> you know, it's one in the morning. I'm doing this voiceover. So um, I highlighted it, <laughs> highlighted it with that concealer underneath my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And I tend to highlight um, using a one to two shades lighter than my skin tone. I don't like really super bright highlighted looks anymore. I just want something nice and highlighted, not too much. And I put it on my chin. I'm going to put it on my cupid's bow. And I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose using a damp beauty blender. My beauty blenders are damp and you know i keep my beauty blenders clean now <laughs> um to contour i'm gonna use uh fenty's matchstick and this is in the color espresso i love this matchstick it makes my skin look nice and warm and being that i'm still trying to figure out if i like this dior foundation um the contour i feel like saved it because i was looking a little weird girl i'm like i think i need a shade darker <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with the booty part of my, um, beauty blender. And as you can see, things are starting to come together and look, you know, better. I'm going to use Laura Mercier's translucent powder underneath my eyes. I love this powder too. So I just pat that underneath my eyes, doing pressing motions to... Avoid creasing underneath the eyes and make sure I get my bake on too. So I put that all over the highlighted areas. And while I'm highlighting, I pop my brows on. Brows are done. And then I'm going to use the Blur Mercier Translucent Color in Deep. I think this is deep. Yes, it's deep. And um, this is the powder that I use to set my foundation. Put it all over and on top of the highlighted areas just to blend everything out. So I feel like the foundation is actually working now. <laughs> um, to contour to with powder, I like to go over my contour with powder. This is the Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to put that on the contour of my cheeks to make it pop even more. Sorry if you guys hear some rain. It's raining. And I'm going to pop this on my forehead give myself some color back to my face and of course do my nose just a little bit just to add a little shape and I'm going to bronze my face using this Bobbi Brown bronzer girl I like this bronzer I've been using this for about a year now I love it so I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and apply a little bit to my forehead and bronzer just warms the face up. It warms my contour up. Gives me that sun-kissed look. So I put it a little bit over my contour areas around the perimeter of my face because the foundation was looking a little iffy, girl. Looking like a little ooey. What's going on? <laughs> so this saved it. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using Urban Decay's 
um, primer potion just a little bit on my eyes because we're gonna put some shadow on and stuff and you guys I do the same looks but I just kind of remix them each time so this is kind of like my go-to look I apply bronzer as an eyeshadow or any kind of brown that's kind of flesh tone will work and I'm using like a jumbo eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna pop this all over the lid something that I do is like super simple but I can intensify this look or keep it really simple so that's why I love to do this everyday look or all my all the time look I'm kind <laughs> and just remix it just makes it easy for me so I just pop this on because I always know that this is gonna look cute regardless of day or night you know so I'm gonna blend the crease out a little bit this has no color on it so I'm just gonna pop you know a little blender brush in the crease just to make sure everything is nice and seamless just to blend it out a little bit And now I'm going to use this Beauty Treats 88 palette. And I'm going to use that um, kind of cream color for my brow highlight. And I'm just going to pop that on underneath my brow and blend down. So I'm using patty motions and blending down at the same time. like that okay am I done okay yeah so I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty palette this is the um, what is it? the topaz palette and I'm gonna use that orange in the crease because orange looks good on us chocolate sisters it warms everything up and brings everything together and it's a perfect transition color you can use any orange tone eyeshadow that you own it will give you the same look so i'm just gonna lightly pop that into the crease to warm everything up with a fluffy blending brush and i'm just building up the intensity in my crease i always kind of work light and then build as i go i like my looks to be really soft so this is the look that we're gonna do I'm using ColourPop's new liquid liners and I have to say I like them so I'm gonna go ahead and create a wing I always start at the very edge of my ring so I start where my lower lash line ends with the line and then I bring this line I connect the tail to the line above my top lash line and make a line so I take my time with doing this and I noticed um, with using kind of like a felt tip liner that this gives me the best line look ever for years that I've been doing this and I'm gonna take the yellow that um, ColourPop has and I'm just gonna basically line the top now it doesn't have to be perfect because later on you have to go back and um, clean it up but with these color pop liners the color the colored liners you do have to layer these in kind of like in increments so this yellow took me about a couple times to get it to this vibrancy so now I'm just gonna go back and clean up my black liner to make sure everything is nice and sharp and clean and definitely take your time so this is the look as far as the eyes to add some color this will be cute for summer and of course put on some lashes the name of my lashes that I'm wearing is down in the description along with all of the product okay so for my blush I'm gonna use NARS Taj Mahal and this blush has a really nice kind of glowy sheen to it like golden look so I kind of tend to use blushes that I 
that coordinate with whatever I put in my crease. So you notice we put like an orange in the crease and that's what I'm gonna put as my blush. That's kind of how I tie all my looks together so they'll mesh well. I can't stand blush that doesn't coordinate with the eyeshadow, you know. So for my highlighter, I'm gonna use Trophy Wi-Fi um, Fenty Beauty. And as you can see, this has like a yellow tone highlighter. So this goes with lit. My liner. So this is how I get everything to go. So I put a little bit on my forehead. I like to have a little forehead sheen. I don't know why, but I just think it's cute. And I put a little bit on my nose, my cupid's bow. Okay. And I put some in my inner tear duct. And you, as you guys can see, I left the bottom open. Okay, I didn't put any, any liner, any shadow. I did put some mascara out on there but you don't have to put mascara you can line your bottom lash line you can smoke it out you can do whatever but i like to keep mine open so for my brow highlight i'm going to use nars albatross just to add a little sheen and pop to my brow area and this just helps like finish the look off too to give some extra and i'm going to use this lancome fix it spray I love this stuff. It makes my my face look so like put together and makes my makeup last. I love it so much. Now on to the hair. I'm going to be putting on a fabulous wig from the wig dealer. You guys, I love their curly hair. And this is a 360 Caribbean curly wig in 18 inches. And this wig is straight up out of the box, okay? And it's like so soft and it smells wonderful. And what's really cool is that this has an adjustable elastic band that you can remove, okay, and adjust to the size of your head. And for your own comfortable ability, comfortability, comfortability, what's the word, girl? <laughs> you can adjust it, <laughs> okay? You can adjust it. It has three kind of... Um, adjustable notches and you can remove the elastic band all together if you want to so this is new and improved and i really appreciate that and it does also have an adjustable um band in the back to tighten it too so you have some super security and two combs in the front lace part and this wig has already been bleached the knots have been bleached so that is something we don't have to do and I appreciate it. I appreciate that as well. So as you can see, the lace is really nice. And the construction of this wig is really nice too. And as you can see, there's a place where our ears will go. So like I said, this is a 360 lace wig. So you can wear this wig up in a top knot bun, in a ponytail, whatever. So I would suggest you braid your hair, girl. I had a lazy day and I didn't braid my hair super flat but since this hair is curly it worked out fine so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on like so and of course use the adjustable elastic band and look my wig was so secure it was not moving so i always kind of like to have my curly hair kind of like off to the side or whatever girl so this uh curl pattern is so so beautiful straight out of the box and it smelled really good too and i love that this hairline is already pre-plucked and it looks so so natural so this i feel like this is how a wig is supposed to as soon as you get it out the box you should be able to just throw it on and you as you can see how natural the lace looks since it's already been bleached you don't have to do anything to this. This is a perfect wig for the summer or those vacations. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. I always try the wig on first before cutting the lace off to make sure I like it. So I like it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy off, take my time. And I always leave a little extra lace on the front of mine because you know when you wash it, sometimes the lace will fray and you need to cut off you know lace over time but the quality of this lace is really nice and thin so you can go glueless with this wig 
but I am going to kind of bond down the sides for the purpose of this video okay normally I don't use glue at all but since it's kind of um, you know lifted a little bit I am gonna glue it down with some graftobian spirit gum okay and the only reason why my sides are lifted is because I didn't break my hair flat so I'm only gonna put a little bit on the sides not too much and I'm putting it over my hairline and naturally you are gonna catch a little bit of hairs but it all depends on how you remove the wig so I have a video on how I remove my wigs when I do use the um, spirit gum so I let the spirit gum get a little bit tacky and just press it in so mine isn't exactly perfect because I wasn't going anywhere <laughs> but as you can see with the little effort that I did do this wig is absolutely gorgeous as far as how the lace is blending in so I'm thinking that I'm going to do like a cute half up half down look with this hair and I absolutely love the length too it's not too long I'm only 4'11 so 18 inches is perfect for me perfect everyday wig and it's really really natural because it's not overly long and dramatic so I'm gonna create a little bit of baby hairs just to mask the, um, the lace in the front since I'm gonna be wearing the top up and the hair is super super soft and it has a really nice natural shine too so I'm just gonna cut a little bit off not too much just a little bit and that's about all I'm gonna do and I'm using some Vonte Edge Control. The name of what I use is down in the description along with all the other products that I used in this video. And I'm just gonna use a little edge brush to brush it in. It gives it a really nice non-greasy luster and it holds it down. I don't like the extreme baby hair. I just want a little wispy look. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just throw the top half up. I like to keep the sides down though just to mask the lace. And I'm just gonna use an ouchless band and just put her up like so. Super cute. Now this wig doesn't have layers, but I did cut a little bit off the top just to give it a little more shape. And I am just popping some water on the hair just to get some of the curls that I may have lost with styling. That may have got a little frizzy i'm just popping some water back on it to curl everything back up and it's super easy peasy hair so to finish my lips off i'm gonna use this color pop lip liner and this one is called i think ctrl and i'm gonna line my lips like this i always line my lips like that and leave the bottom open i know someone asked they was like why do you leave the bottom open it just makes my lips look plumper even though I do have that braces big lip pump going on right now um <laughs> I am going to use uh Colourpop's plumping lip gloss which I didn't know was a plumping lip gloss I like it though this lip gloss didn't have the name on it y'all I don't know why I didn't have the name on it so if you guys know the name let me know and this is pretty much the final look you guys I absolutely love this hair and I do have a coupon code if you're interested in getting this hair for yourself it is love mix 15 okay and I love the look it's not too long it's an easy everyday wearable hair and I will be wearing this on my vacation that I'm about to go on y'all so stay tuned to my Instagram pictures <laughs> So yeah, that is pretty much it y'all, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And like I said, all of the products that I used on my face as far as my makeup are in the description below. And there is a link to this wig in the description below as well as the coupon code if you want to check this wig out also. So okay girl hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later